And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Minor League Baseball from the AA level coming up. It's the Hartford Yard Goats and the Altoona Curve. First pitch coming your way next. And welcome back. Leading off, Leading off Eric Stevens. And here we go, Boog. A chance to see Eric. if he can up his hitting streak to the magic 40-game mark. Keep it going. Here comes a pitch. That one the other way. Pulls up, and it drops for a hit. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. The one two runner takes off. The next pitch is popped up. Newton right there to make the grab and there's one down throw behind the runner and they've got him doubled off so now it's the four hole hitter Benny Montgomery he popped out his first time and here it comes that one hammered center field that's back there pulls it in on the warning track home half of the third coming up no score Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Eric Stevens. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. Lifted in the air, out to left. Guerrero under it. Hauls it in for the out. Just pulled off of it a little bit. We go to the top of the fifth, and here is Eddie Diaz. Emmanuel back to work. This to center field. Stevens, as this one sized up, makes the catch for the out. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch. If just so up next, number 11. Outfield playing pretty shallow. That's out to center field. Stevens in position. Brings it in for the third out. So they go quietly there. Home half of the fifth coming up. And we still have no score. So two outs with runners on the corners. And stepping in is the speedy Eric Stevens. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. Here we go. Crushed in the air. Left center field. Way back there. No doubt about it. A three-run homer, and that gives him a lead. It's 3-0. He sent the first pitch over the wall. Must have dinner reservations because he wasn't wasting any time at the plate in that at bat. versus power right there like two locomotives colliding who's going to win but a really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working powers that fastball out of here now the left fielder Juan Guerrero a strikeout and a walk Guerrero and a 1-1 he swings and hits a fly ball center field and there's one away
back here at the ballpark. Harold Castro stands in. The designated hitter, Harold Castro. Into center, Stevens sizing this one up and out number one on the grab. He was all over that first pitch fastball, just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. Two outs, base is empty. And now the first baseman, number 32. Righty delivers. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Stevens moving under this one. He's got it. And that is out number three. So here's the cleanup hitter, Eric Stevens. He's already homered in this game. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Swings through that one, 0 oh, and 1. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elites. This one swung on and hit well, way back there. And that one is out of here. A towering shot to right, his second home run of the game, and they tack on to their lead. It's 7-3. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. It's like he's playing wiffle ball up there, and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run, to the slight opposite field, into the gap. Man, making it look easy, that's for sure. So digging in, Eddie Diaz. Second base. Eddie Mendoza goes six Diaz. feet five inches. He features a four seam fastball, a slider, a curve, and he works in a two seamer. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Stevens racing over to make the catch. The batter, number two, shortstop, Jack. Nine wins in a row. It's such a good feeling right now with this club that no one wants to be the guy that causes the team to lose. In fact, they're looking at ways. Each guy, every day he comes to the ballpark, how can I help us win today? And this is a great feeling. It's like being in the playoffs when individual statistics don't matter. It's all about the team W. 